Scott here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, my son Ryan uh, got on Craigslist and found this little Case 450 1976 crawler. So we went down and took a look at it, and well, you know, it's a 1976, so it does have a lot of wear on it, but the thing that we like about it is it has brand new tracks and brand new sprockets and all the idlers are new on it and it's got a rebuilt engine so the engine starts right up even when it's cold it just fires right off and there's a little bit of slop in a lot of the pins there's a few uh, seals that are leaking around the lift cylinders need to be repacked but all in all it's a real straight little machine so I thought I'd just go ahead and give you a walk around on it and if you guys have any tips tricks or where you can find new parts or used parts for this 450 case uh, leave that in the comment section below I'll go ahead and fire it up let you listen to it So as you can see it fires right up uh, it's in really good shape there's a few things that are wrong with it it steers fine up and all the functions are operate real good but uh, I got to look and it don't have any brakes <laughs> well a lot of people say well I don't need any brakes Ryan he uh, turned a little lot with it and he likes it it's a little bit tricky getting off the trailer because it wants to free spool or free run off the trailer but uh, again it has no brakes but uh, we're going to go ahead and get those fixed one of the problems it has is the track adjuster is leaking by on it that's this piece right here that comes through here and it keeps the track tight this uh, track adjuster needs to be repacked but for temporary to keep the tracks tight I went ahead and put a fashion a little piece of angle iron and put it in here, stretched the track out with a with a with a crowbar and affixed this uh, two inch by two inch piece of angle iron in here to keep that stretched out and that worked really good. Uh, that that'll that'll do you in a pinch. Some people will weld weld these uh, or whatever. I think this is a little more temporary, a little less less intrusive. I went ahead and uh, Put that in there as a temporary fix to kind of get this little project done that Ryan wanted to work on. So if you guys ever get in a pinch, this happens to be right at four and seven eighths of an inch to stretch this out for these new tracks. See all the all the tracks, the everything underneath here is new. And a matter of fact, I'm really really pleased about the new tracks because this has the new style linkage on it. Uh, if you guys know anything about tracks, the older tracks, you have to drive, drive these pins out in order to get the tracks apart. But uh, right in here, I guess this is called the alligator um, linkage, and this is bolted together, and you just unbolt that and it'll come apart instead of having to drive one of these pins out of here. And you could tell... This is the link that comes apart because this is solid right here and these all have have holes in them. You see the difference? Again, this uh, adjuster here needs to be replaced. You just take this plug out here and there's a grease zerk in there and we were pumping grease in there and it wouldn't take any it wouldn't it wouldn't expand the track out. So this portion here has to either be rebuilt or repacked. So again, overall, it's, you know, it's uh, definitely used. Uh, Ryan wants to repaint it. 
most of the metal on this is really sound and really straight. It's not bent up. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, this has been bent up a little bit, but we're going to try to take that off and straighten that up, clean this up. A few little anomalies here, but uh, it's really straight. This has got a six-way six blade, and the linkage on it, of course, there's some slop in it, but it's uh, not so bad that it can't do a job, but if the linkage was tighter, it would it could do a better look a better job at uh, grading and finished work this cylinder here needs to be repacked it's leaking so I got new packing for that so this right here is the up down function and tilt left to right that's tilt tilt right tilt left on the blade so you can see the, all the slop in this so I managed to run down another handle for this this is really badly pitted not that that's going to affect the functionality of it however it's got a lot of play so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this handle this piece right in here is called the crank and it's got a tremendous amount of play and there's a pin in here that i'm going to replace now this this function here it's it's actually pretty loose but i think what i'm going to do with this one is I might remove this, bore this out, and either build another sleeve for this, or the easiest thing to do is just to make a larger pin. And I can build that on the metal lathe. I'll just bore this piece out right here, and then I'll just make a bigger pin to run in through here. So uh, that should take care of most of the slop on this. It's not, it's actually not too bad. So this function here, is causes the blade to go this way or that way and this function here uh, when you go to the to the right operate this cylinder and that that causes this corner to dig or come up or down see so that can be digging and if you go one way or the other on this you can function that uh, you can operate this to where you can tilt the blade you can tilt the blade this way or that way and that will allow you to dig on a hillside or if you're on really tough ground you can you can dig with one corner or the other these functions here aren't too bad they seem they seem fairly tight for what they are so anyways uh, overall the machine is in pretty good shape um, underneath the floor I was trying to see about what's going on with the brakes and the brake lines in here are disconnected underneath this plate so I have to figure out what's going on with that I got new master cylinders for this I'm not sure if I'll hire it done or if I'll do it myself I did get the service and parts manual with it so that was really handy matter of fact I used the parts manual they've changed a few numbers over the years uh, so I did get a new a new handle for this and a new called a like a, a crank this piece right in here other than that it's it's not in too bad a shape again it's you know there's wear all over the place but it uh, runs in and out of gear really nice steers really nice and I think with the new paint job this thing, thing's cleaned up I think it's gonna be in really good shape we got a new set of filters with it the guy gave us a new set of filters the other thing I want to add is that uh, we got a brush rake with this but it has to be modified it uh i've got it over at the welding shop right now i mean that guy's doing a little horse trading also the cutters or the cutting edge needs to be switched over uh, this wore real bad you can see the distance between down here and the center of that and from the center of that up to here there's a significant difference this is a lot narrower here than it is here so what I need to do is I need to take this off. All this right here is a new edge, so these are meant to flip over. So this edge here is going to go on the opposite side, opposite side of the machine, and the opposite corner is going to come on and mount on this side. And that'll give us a sharp, sharp uh, edge to work off of. And you can see how narrow it is between this point and this point, and then this point and this point. This has a lot more 
a lot more distance here than from here to here. So we'll get those switched over at some point and do, do a little uh, maintenance on this thing. Uh, somebody's poured a little bit of love into it, putting an undercarriage under it. Uh, so it's got a new undercarriage. So that's really a, a really a big plus. So a lot of the a lot of the work's been done. Uh, a lot more to do, but it's functional the way it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and God bless.